Hey guys, it is January 13th, and if you remember from my last vlog, I was not on track last night. I was on track the whole day, and then I just, I don't know, I became weak. So I have a feeling I am going to be gaining weight today, which is unfortunate, but let's step on the scale and find out. Hello, it's Freddy. Okay, stepping on. 510.0 pounds. 510.0. Oh my god, I did not gain as much as I thought I was going to. So that is a big relief. The guilt I feel from being off track though definitely motivates me to stay on track today. All right. Whoops. Oh no. That bothers me, but we're going to ignore it. 510.0 and yesterday was the off track day y'all it is freezing it's like literally 10 degrees outside i just came back in with walking twinkie and i swear my fingers are numb now i'm about to go out we're me and my mom are gonna hang out we might surprise my grandma and show up there it's supposed to snow tomorrow not looking forward to that there was an earthquake last night like what is happening? I'm not cut out for this type of weather. Like, I want the spring and the fall 24-7. Like, that's what I need in my life, and that's what should be here every single day. Not icicles and snow. Like, I'm just not in it to win it. Okay, so we're about to go into this place called Big Box. It's just like a bunch of Amazon stuff that was never delivered. It's a bin store. Let's go look. What's this, Samer? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? <laughs> I'm not getting that ever. No? No, it's too much. You need to drink your water though. I just Okay, so I didn't get anything, but my mom got this uh 365 days of words to inspire. <laughs> but it is a 2022 calendar, which is totally fine. What's today's? It says your future is bright. Isn't that cute? That is cute. Okay, right, but look, still, I love all these positive. You look like a million bucks. Oh, thanks. <laughs> look, be silly, be honest, be kind. I love that. Me too. And like every single one is like art. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm obsessed. It's adorbs. That's actually super cute. Do your best. Look, how could you? Keep your enthusiasm. Yeah, that's Keep cute. it up, Amber. This was 75 cents. Today's forecast, 100%. <laughs> Fantastic. Hell yeah. <laughs> so I saw this Icon Cinema and I was like, what is that? Is that where all Amberlynn Reed's videos are performed? Get it? Haha. -ha. Hey guys, it is the next day, January 14th. I'm sorry that I stopped vlogging yesterday. My mom and I ended up going to my grandma's house, surprising her, visiting her. And then my grandma took me and my mom out to her favorite restaurant. So I was just spending quality time with them. But it is the next day. Let's do the weigh-in. Hello. Hello. It's ready. Thank you. Stepping on now. 509.6 pounds. 509.6. I was hoping for a bigger loss because I feel like I barely ate anything yesterday. But you know what? I'll take it. 509.6. And yesterday, I was on track. That is such a lousy heart because I was looking through the camera. I need to not do that. So tomorrow is week two weigh in to see how much I officially lost. So this can go, can go like any way. I could do good today and lose more weight or tonight, which is usually nighttime where I slip up and do bad. I could do really bad and gain a few pounds overnight and then not lose anything. That would suck big time, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that that won't happen. 
Y'all, I don't know about you, but I normally do not eat things like this. I normally always get like turkey burgers, but for some reason, Vidalia, probably pronouncing that wrong, onion beef patties just sounded so good. And I had one last night, absolutely amazing. And I put some shredded cheese on top and it melted and it was delicious. So I'm actually about to make one right now. Y'all, I have been Lego obsessed. I finished the Polaroid. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? And like you could put these pictures in here and they like come out. I don't know, I'm obsessed. By the way, this is a no from me. Oh, it was so gross. Like I took one bite and I hated it. Like there's this weird layer on the outside that is just not good. I got this from 7-Eleven. It's just like a beef stick. I usually like a beef stick. I know that's shocking. I, I know because I'm not a meat girly, but some of them are good. This new. No. So don't get that folks. But the Lego has been great. I have no more Legos left. I do have two knockoff Legos. So I just ordered a couple more Lego brand Legos off of Amazon. Um, they're not like any like huge ones or anything, but they're just like a couple that I've been wanting to do. Hello, it is January 15th, it is Monday, and Mondays are the official weigh-in of how much did I lose that week? Hello. Hello. It's ready. Okay, guys, so I'm stepping on. 507.4 pounds. 507.4, yes! I was on track yesterday, I did really freaking good. Oh my god, I'm so happy with this 507.4 hell yeah seven is my favorite number besides one i do like one okay you guys so i was 507.4 that is so amazing i was on track yesterday so this week i am down 5.2 i am so so proud of that and in total this year so far which has only been 15 days i'm down 8.4 pounds which i'm very happy with that because my goal is to lose 100 pounds this year and to reach that goal i just need to lose 1.9 pounds a week that is it so i'm already like way ahead of schedule i am so proud of this way in yay Okay guys, so I went on to Instagram. I told you guys to ask me questions. I figured it could be fun to do some rapid fire questions. So let's get into it. Favorite thing about living in Oklahoma so far? Definitely living on my own. I love living on my own. My rules, I can do whatever I want. Everything is mine. It's like my own little like haven, sanctuary. I like doing things on my time. And I don't know, just something about it is just so freeing. And I never expected to love it this much, but I really do. When did you start listening to The Weeknd? So it was 2011. It was when I heard Same Old Song. I became obsessed with him. There's like a few artists that I am just like majorly obsessed with, like Banks, Miley Cyrus, Billie Eilish, The Weeknd, and there's a few others. And my most recent ex actually surprised me with like a poster. It was so sweet of her because she had a record player and she wanted to put some posters near it. And she put one of my favorite artists up there. She didn't really care for The Weeknd like I did, but she did it for me. So she surprised me. I thought that was sweet. But The Weeknd, me and The Weeknd, we've, we're besties, okay? When's the last time you drank alcohol? I actually have not drank since December 31st because I did drink on New Year's Eve and I haven't drank since then. When will you be ready for a relationship? Honestly, I don't know because I kind of like the single life. Of course, there is things that I miss about being in a relationship, but I honestly think it's just like, I'm missing those things with my ex. We don't have to get into like detail, but there are just like a lot of things that I miss with her specifically. What are your thoughts on sending nudes? So honestly, that is something that um, I low key do, but I only do it if I'm really connected with someone, we're really into each other, I trust them, and they have to like ask for it because I'm, I, sorry, but unsolicited, no. But if you two are vibing and they're like, hey, you wanna send over like a, a titty pic? <laughs> but you have to be really special because I don't just be sending those out to anybody. Like you have to be a special girly pop, okay? But I don't see anything wrong with it. Like if two people are into each other, go for it. Did it snow in Oklahoma? Yes, it did. 
So the last question I'm gonna do is, how do you feel about Becky talking about you again? So honestly, I find it a little weird only because she was the one who initially said, keep my name out your mouth or the law is gonna get involved. And then I think it was a few months later, I brought up the law just to remind her that that was initially what she wanted. It was my way of agreeing, but like now she's talking about me. I don't know. Share your story, share your truth, share what you think is your truth. I, I don't know what else to say about it at this point because I'm just not really into this whole, let's talk shit about our ex for money. I I've personally am not gonna be doing it. I did go against my morals at the time when Destiny started saying all those things about me and I went on live stream and then started doing the same. I was in a very bad headspace at the time, but I'm not gonna let that be an excuse because even if I was in a bad one now, I still wouldn't let myself come to that type of energy because I'm not gonna do it. She can do whatever she wants and I'm not gonna say a damn thing because I just wish her nothing but healing, happiness, health, success, all the good things in the world. But it is a little confusing because she was the one who initially brought up the law. Okay, you guys, so I have an Amazon haul. These things came overnight. These are just clean dishes that I have to put away, so don't mind that. And I really hurt my finger. This nail almost came off. You guys, it hurt so bad when I was opening these boxes. Anyways, okay, so I got some slippers. I'll show you guys those out of the package in a minute. And I got some Legos. I did think this one was gonna be bigger, but that's okay. It's New York City. I got some roller skates. And the newest one, which is the Bouquet of Roses, which if you guys know me, you guys know my favorite flower is Red Roses with baby's breath. And that's literally what this is. So here are the slippers. Let's see if they fit. They actually fit perfect and they're so cute. I'm obsessed. So now I'm going to add Legos to my little collection here. Not this one though, because I'm about to do this one. Yes, I am. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you. The last two days has been so boring. I have been wanting to go outside and walk but I can't because we are snowed in. I have been able to take Twinkie to the uh, dog park, but that is like literally part of my apartment complex, which I prefer to walk her so we can get like exercise and stuff. But sadly, I have not been able to do that. And I've been really, really itching to do the mile walk without Twinkie. I know the next couple of months is just gonna be freezing cold. Like I cannot imagine myself walking in 10 degree weather, 20 degree weather, like it's not gonna happen. Once it starts getting up like the 50s and 60s, that's like perfect walking weather in my opinion. And I'm just like, I need that weather because I wanna walk so bad. Like, who is she? Like, I wanna go walk a mile, like what? But yeah, like a lot of people enjoy the snow and I'm just not that girly. Like I used to love the snow, but now I just feel trapped, honestly, because like I don't own a single pair of shoes that is like, ice approved or snow approved. So when I do go out there, it's like, it hurts my feet. Oh my God. It's just hard to find shoes that like work for me. Anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.